Hi there! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, magsosolve tayo ng problems involving normal curve areas. Napakahalaga ng previous two lessons sa video na to, so please check on the link in the video description. Okay, so let's have the example na. A school nurse recorded the weight of 250 students and got an average of 41.9 kilograms with a standard deviation of 2.5. Assuming that the weights are normally distributed, letter A, what percent of the students are more than 46.9 kilograms? Ang unang step natin na gagawin ay ilocate yung 46.9 kilograms sa ating normal curve. So magkoconstruct kayo dapat ng normal curve dito and then ishade yung portion na hinahanap. So ang 46.9 ay 2SD above the mean, narito siya. And then, isi-shade natin yung more than 46.9. So, narito sa right side ng 46.9. Ang area ng kalahati ng normal curve ay 0.5. And then, the area 2SD above the mean, itong area na ito, yung pagitan nila, ay 0.4772. So, para makuha yung shaded portion, kailangan nating I-minus yung 0.5 by 0.4772. So, the probability of X is greater than 46.9, that is more than 46.9 kilograms, is equal to 0.5 minus 0.4772 is equal to 0.0228. Dahil percent ang hinahanap, imumove lang natin ang decimal point two places to the right, kaya ang sagot natin ay 2.28%. Okay? Next letter B, what percent of the students are between 34.4 kilograms and 39.4 kilograms? So, ilocate natin yung 34.4 and 39.4 dito sa ating normal curve. So, by construction, narito sila sa 1SD below the mean at 3SD below the mean. So, yung pagitan nila yung ating shaded portion. Para makuha yung shaded portion, kailangan nating alamin by empirical rule yung area 3SD below the mean at yung area 1SD below the mean. So, we have 0.4987 at saka yung namang 1SD below the mean ay 0.3414. Para makuha yung between nila, kailangan natin i-minus yung 0.4987 minus 0.3414. So, probability of X is greater than 34.4 but less than 39.4. Ito yung ibig sabihin ng between 34.4 and 39.4. So, baka mali to kayo sa symbol ko. So, is equal to 0.4987 minus 0.3414 is equal to 0.1573. At dahil percent ang hinahanap, just move the decimal point two places to the right. We have 15.73%. Next, letter C. How many students are more than 36.9 kilograms? Ilocate ulit natin ang 36.9 kilograms sa ating normal curve. So, that is 2SD below the mean. And then, ishade yung more than 36.9 kilograms. So, itong ishade natin nasa right side niya. Okay? So, paano natin kukunin yung probability of X is greater than 36.9? Kailangan natin kunin yung area ng kalahati ng normal curve, which is 0.5. At itong... 2SD below the mean which is 0.4772 and then ipa-plus natin sila. So, 0.5 plus 0.4772 is equal to 0.9772. At dahil number of students ang hinahanap natin, kailangan natin i-multiply ang 0.9772 dun sa number of students na kinuha na ng weight which is 250. So, 250 times 0.9772 is equal to 244.3. I-round up natin siya to the nearest whole number kasi tao ang pinag-uusapan natin. So, we have 244 students. Example number 2. The average score of 50 students in a 100-item test is 72.4 with a standard deviation of 1.6. If the scores are normally distributed, what percent of the students got above 74? Ilocate muna natin ang 74 sa normal curve. So, siya ay naroon sa 1SD above the mean. And then, above 74, that means isa-shade natin yung right side. Ito yung shaded region niya. Para makuha ang shaded region na ito, kailangan natin isubtract itong 1SD above the mean, yung area niya, dun sa 0.5. So, the probability of X is greater than 74 is equal to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3414 is equal to 0 0.1586 is equal to 
15.86%. Okay? Next, letter B. What percent of the students got between 67.6 and 74? I-locate ulit natin yung 67.6 at saka 74. So, narito siya sa 3 SD below the mean. Yung isa naman ay 1 SD above the mean. And then, dahil between, isa-shade natin yung portion na nasa pagitan nila. And then, kunin yung area. 1 SD above the mean is 0.3414 and 3 SD below the mean is 0.4987. So, para makuha yung probability ng x greater than 67.6 less than 74 in yung between their scores is equal to 0.4987 plus 0.3414 is equal to 0.8401 is equal to 84.01%. Okay, letter C. How many students got below 70.8? So, i-locate muna natin yung 70.8. Naroon siya sa 1 SD below the mean. And then, i-shade natin yung left portion dahil below 70.8 siya. And then, i-minus natin yung area 1 SD below the mean na area, 0.3414, dun sa 0.5, dun sa kalahati ng normal curve. So, probability of X is less than 70.8 is equal to 0.5 minus 0.3414 is equal to 0.1586. So, yung 0.1586, imumultiply natin sa 150 students. Okay? Dahil... How many students ang tinatanong dito? So, is equal to 23.79. Then, round it off to the nearest whole number dahil tao ang pinag-uusapan. So, we have 24 students who got scores below 70.8.